Here are the top five stories you need to know about today. Today is a busy day on the Sacramento River. Action News Now reporter Diego Moctezuma is live in Glen County at the Irvine Finch Boat Launch with what's happening on the water for Labor Day. Good morning, Diego. Good morning, Kelly. Um, it, it's you know it's really important to make sure that we're being safe if we're going out here on the Sacramento River today. Um, now. There is an alcohol ban on the river between Butte and Glen counties during Labor Day weekend. This is from the Highway 32 bridge south to the mouth of Big Chico Creek. Law enforcement and Butte County Search and Rescue want you to be very cautious and to watch out for any objects in the water like branches, rebar, rebars or other debris that you can get stuck by. Now, if you do happen to get stuck, they say to try to get over those objects and don't go underneath the water. They say Labor Day is when calls for help increase the most. Back to you, Kelly. Breaking news overnight. Chico police are looking for the man who stabbed two men while trying to steal their bikes in downtown Chico. This happened around 730 last night at East First and Wall Streets. Chico police said the two victims were riding their bikes when a man they don't know pulled a knife and tried to take the bikes. The man stabbed both of them and ran off without getting the bicycles. If you have information, call Chico police. The city of Chico is preparing its The city of Chico is preparing its response to the Butte County Grand Jury report that recommends changes in how the city handles the homeless crisis. I combed through the report that was released in June. In its report, the grand jury said the city of Chico New this morning, the State Department official wildlife confirms four recent wolf attacks that killed livestock in Siskiyou and Lassen counties. That was video of a new wolf pack found last year in Tulare County. Biologists believe that pack consists of a breeding pair and six pups called the Yalomi pack. The most recent deadly wolf attacks were in late June and early July. A calf was found dead in eastern Siskiyou on June 26th. The teeth marks indicated a wolf attack. An OR-85 satellite collar pinged in that same area at the time. Other dead calves were found June 30th and July 2nd. Investigators used evidence to conclude those also were wolf attacks. And this week, Caltrans will start preparing, repairing a slip out on Highway 96 in Siskiyou County. It could mean traffic delays. The $2 million project will repair a section of the road that was recently damaged by oversaturation near Happy Camp east of Gordon Ferry's Road. There will be traffic controls and delays of up to 10 minutes. The construction will begin tomorrow with the work happening weekdays between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. It should be finished by the end of October.